Hello, I'm Peter Gracie. Um, I'm a 51-year-old uh, gay engineer. Um, I work for um, Bechtel, uh, an American company with uh, worldwide contracts in engineering and construction. I'm currently working with Network Rail on the uh, surface elements of the Crossrail program, and I'm also the Secretary of Inter-Engineering. When I was younger, when I was at college, uh, in the early years of my training in the Royal Navy, I didn't really understand me. I didn't know I was gay. I didn't work it out for quite a while. Um, and by the time I did, I was in a career that I enjoyed and it would have been illegal for me to be there if I'd admitted I was gay, so I didn't. Um, I wanted to fit in um, and I wanted to keep my job. So um, I, I did what was expected of me. Um, I, um, I didn't talk about my uh, sexuality and I just got on with things. Um, not the best approach. It took me quite a while, and it was actually after I'd left the Navy. The Navy had changed its rules by then. Um, but um, I, I eventually worked myself out, but couldn't then work out, how do I tell people I was married, I had three kids, I had a career, what was going to happen if I, uh, if I came out? And it took me quite a long time before the circumstances put me in a position where I went, I've just got to be me. I can't, uh, I can't pretend any longer, I've got to be honest with people, and so I was. Since I came out, uh, my experiences have been almost entirely positive. Um, I got a great reception from my colleagues, from my family, um, from, I've got two sets of colleagues, uh, my colleagues in my engineering job at work and uh, also my colleagues in the uh, Royal Navy Reserve. Um, and to be honest, everybody, um, almost everybody, was completely positive about it. I didn't get any negative comments initially, which is what I was expecting. Um, I got lots of positive support um, and it really wasn't an issue. I was working um, for Transport for London at the time and they're a very inclusive organisation and, and it was a really good feeling and there were at least four um, openly gay men in the same office, which made life a lot easier. Um, although it wasn't them being there that had made me decide it was time to come out. It was a sort of combination of, of things coming together in, at one time. I think the most challenging bit was having the courage to come out in the first place. Um, after that, keeping it up, because you don't just come out once you come out multiple times, every time you meet somebody new. Um, I suppose coming out later in life, I was 44 when I came out, um, I've had a bit of a benefit because I'm older, I'm senior, and to a certain extent I don't care a little bit what people say. So uh, I tend to sort of drop it into the conversation quite early on. Um, I don't give people too many opportunities to misinterpret. Um, but I don't shove it down their throats either. I just make some subtle comment in conversation so it's, it's obvious. I'm gay, I'm here, um, and we get on and we do a professional job. My advice to other LGBT um, engineers it would be um, quite simple, be yourself. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to come out, you don't have to go around waving a rainbow flag, but you need to be comfortable with being you. Because if you're comfortable with being you, whatever that means to you, um, you can then give more to what you do. If you don't have to worry about covering your tracks, about not talking about what you did at the weekend, about not discussing what uh, the gender of your partner is, then it's not distracting you from the job that you're doing. Um, you can give more, you can be a better team member and, and deliver better for the profession, for yourself and for the company you work for. I definitely recommend engineering to anyone. Um, at whatever level you come into uh, engineering, I think it's a very rewarding profession. And I don't think in any of the companies I've worked for, it makes a difference whether you're L, G, B, T or whatever. Um, it's about doing the job, it's about being professional. And uh, I get a lot out of, of um, what I do in engineering and what I've done over the last 30, 40 years. Um, yeah, be you and enjoy it.